Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. It's okay, Harry, you can relax. Benson. JK. I called the both of you out here to have a gentlemanly discussion with you. A gentlemanly discussion? And you had your orderlies abduct us the way they did? Oh, well, yes, because if I had not done that, you'd be there where you were committing more errors. I had to do the need for. What do you mean, Benson? I was just trying to save the both of you from yourselves. You don't understand. Uh, I need you to go to the Igwe's Palace and do something very important for me. That file contains all the details that you need. As you head on there, you keep going through it. Because there is all the guidelines that you need. Very good. Close it. And be on your way. Move. Get the job done. On our way to the palace of Neo, he gave us this file. The contest was so shocking that we had no other choice than to do what we did at the palace earlier today. He had us on our balls. In fact, you have to see for yourself. This is not our That is it. Ah. How? No, 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 no. I can't tell how. Uh, no. Uh, how no. did it come about this? Uh, no. no, I don't get it. How? Uh, no. I don't know. In fact, we don't know. My colleague and I don't know. We are more shocked than you are. I don't get it. I don't get it. These documents can only come out from the office of the accountant or the procurement uh, department. So how can you tell me, your friend and yourself, you are the heads of both departments? So how can you tell me you don't know? You don't know how it leaked. You don't know how it leaked. What kind of nonsense is this? Oh no. Oh no. We don't know how this document leaked. In fact, my colleague was so devastated that he could not come with me. You're saying you do not know. But he has the signed copies of the documents showing the amount, actual amount, that were offered, released and paid for, for the previous two, two, two land sales that we did with your company. And you say he's blanking on you? What in God's sake you're you telling us? It's okay, okay. We are so surprised. In fact, we had to go to his house to reach a, some kind of deal with him. But we are disappointed. In fact, he instructed his gate man never to open the gate for us. And we went further to call him. For over two hours, he did not pick our course. Even up till now, he's not picking our course. So, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. You say he's not picking your course. Yes, that's why I am here. To, you know, let me know if he can talk to you as titled elders of this land. A kind of day for his silence has to be reached. And immediately, before he run all of us. I think he will talk to me. I am the owner. 
the traditional prime minister of this kingdom, second in command to his majesty. He should listen to me. He has to listen to me. He just have to. He must listen to me. What oh. nonsense is that? Hello. Ochaya Ochimba of Enuani Kingdom. <laughs> the only son of the soil who has fought uh, the fiercest battles all over the world. <laughs> U.S. Captain retired. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. It's all right. It's okay. 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 Ochaya. So, no, what did he say? He said he will call me back. Give me the time and location. We are Ichi Okeke and myself will meet him. Okay, okay. Pass. But he also said he does not want to ever see you or your partner or anybody from your company. Ichi Okeke. Okay. Okay. I informed you recently that uh, on my recommendation, the council has approved of uh, those schemes uh, you have been championing. Well. I invited you here today because there is a new development. New development? Um, please, Ichokonko, don't tell us that the Royal Council has backed away from such laudable decision. No, 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 not in the least. Yeah? Uh, in fact, uh, this development can best be described as the miracle of Inu and the Kingdom. Yes. Miracle of Inu and the Kingdom? Yes. In fact, I invited you here to ask you to increase the list of uh, those who are going to benefit from the first phase of this scheme to 30. 30? 30. And of course, uh, uh, I want you to add the project I listed here to the scheme. Twenty widows to be selected and given two hundred thousand naira each to start up some kind of business and expand their farming activities. To increase amount proposed for empowerment of our youths in business ventures from two hundred thousand each to one million naira each. To buy and install two modern farm mills in anyone kingdom for the use of our people who are predominantly farm produced farmers to build at least three communal poultry farms fish ponds and grass cutters rearing farm to be managed by our youth for the kingdom in different parts of this kingdom Ichi Okoko uh, Yes um, <laughs> We can uh, just calm down You see I'm aware that these were not part of the promises you made that used during your election campaign. Mm -hmm. And so it might be... Uh, uh, the reason we are surprised mm -hmm. is that the things listed here will cost about 60 to 70 million naira. Where will the kingdom get such an amount of money from? Mm -hmm. I wonder... How. The question is, are these projects you can mobilize the use to support if the money is available? Yes. 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 Good then get ready to mobilize the youths very soon. Very, very soon. Look at the both of you. Huh? Just take a look at the both of you. Oh no. I mean, look at you. Look at you. Oh no, who you are the traditional prime minister of this kingdom in Chokeke, you are the most educated member of the royal council how could the both of you betray our people in such a fraudulent and disrespectful way the people love you the people trust you the people believe in you yet you do this to them why huh hey and you go 
not even good enough. Hey, anyone more, please. See, this is this is just the devil's work. A quinsu, always quinsu. Eh? I'm not even good. Eh? Of one year, Jemba. Pico, please do not be too angry with us. Forgive us. It's the devil's work. Forgive you. Please. With a very shameful and flimsy excuse that you have just put forward. Forgive you? No. It doesn't work that way. We'll have to do time for this. I'm going to call my friend at the EFCC to pick the both of you up. EFCC? The both of you shall be prosecuted for fraud and sent to prison. Don't do that. I, I am place. the owner who of this community. How can it be that I went to jail? They first don't know who to go to jail. Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. Hey, let us find a way of uh, eh? resolving it. Please, please, you won't come, please. Eh? And you come, why don't do this? Uh, you come, why don't do this to us? Don't do this to us. Do I don't want to go to prison. It is not just about hey. going to jail that we are even bothered down. If this hey. our uh, uh, illegal deals with the company hey. becomes public knowledge, hey, we are finished. Our people will set our houses ablaze before banishing us and our entire family yeah, out of this kingdom for the 17 long years for that matter. 17 long years. Yeah? That is not even enough. They will sell all of our properties that we have in this kingdom to recover their money. Please save us from this uh, horrible humiliation. Please, 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 we beg of you. you know, it will to not happen you. again, please. You know, I don't know. Uh, uh, Anytime I see him, I don't know that this community will have any uh, ask with him. Uh, oh no. Oh no, what's this? Why are you people doing, doing things any way you like? You and the Chie Okeke. We are supposed to have been on top of this situation. Come on now. You were supposed to have gotten uh, Benson and Mr. Chike to appear before this council and to reduce their offer to 10 million. That's what we discussed. And you just said... Wait a minute. What was that? Oh, no. You sent videos to my WhatsApp and you think it's more important than what I am talking about? You think, you think it's more important than... Oh my God. What did you just say? I should stop ranting and watch the videos first. Oh, come on. I, your Igwe, should stop ranting and... Wait a minute. Hello? 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 Oh, no. Hello? Hello? He actually cut the phone on me. Calling me a noisy fool. What is happening here? What's giving him this... Audacity. See the videos. What could be in those videos? Lost. Oh no. Lost. Eh? Oh no. Naked. Lost. What else do I do I say? Lost. Hmm. Lost. For a man's three weeks old wife. Lost for the wife of your childhood friend. Lost.
For the wife of a man whose father was your father's friend and a member of his uh, royal council. Need I remind you? His mother was your mother's royal maid. Lost. <sighs> Lost for a man that you have made childless by your actions. Yes! Ichio Konko fell from the roof he was mending for his father when he heard what happened to his wife and injured his testers. The parents had to even beg the doctor not to tell him that he can no longer have children, that he is now impotent for fear that he might commit suicide. Lost! Simple, lost! <sighs> Hi, hi, hi. The rascality, the mindlessness of the growing up age. Hmm. No, she was pretty, pretty. She was pretty. That woman was so pretty that she swept me off my feet the instant I looked at her. And whatever that happened after that became inevitable. Ah. Lost. I lost control of my of myself, my passion. I I just I just gave in to my unbridled emotion. And ever since then, ever since then, I've been going from one horrible experience to another. I've been going from one torment to another torment. Multitudes of torment. Torment. Ichie Okonkwo should be the one talking about torment here. Not you. He is childless today because of you. Because of your, your stupid and unguarded passion. Ha! Ah. The rascality, the recklessness, the mindlessness of the growing up age. I know what I'm saying, oh no. I know what I am saying. Hmm. I lied to my people that I was attacked. People from another kingdom killed my guards. And because of that, there was war. And people Many of my people were killed. Since then, spirits, angry spirits have assuaged me from right, left, center, from up, from down. Nemekandu mm Jungwa -hmm. have been attacked repeatedly have been in, under the influence of those angry spirits. All they do, all their misdoings, their bad conducts, ah, they are as a result of the influence of those angry spirits. Igwe, that's your business. 
That's your cup of tea. I may not know who sent me those videos, but I can assure you that um, they will help me to achieve a purpose I have been longing. Wait a minute. No. You mean you did not make those videos? I did not. Someone anonymously sent it to me and then I forwarded it to you. But I also forwarded it to two other very trusted persons and I told them what they would do. Per adventure, something <laughs> suddenly happens to me. Or you refuse to do what I want you to do. I... Blackmail. Oh no. You are blackmailing me. Oh my god. Alright. What do you want? Reverse the Ibadanda Uferi. That your great 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 grandfather pronounced on the family of Captain Obuago. Thereafter, make Captain Obuago a member of the Royal Council. That's all. And make sure you do not delay in doing this. Just do it immediately. Make sure you don't delay because um, if you delay, I will forward the video to Ichi Okonkwo and to other prominent sons and daughters of this kingdom. Um, Igwe, 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 please, 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 save yourself the breath, eh? I don't want to hear anything anymore. Majesty, why the urgency? Your summon is full of urgency. Is anything the matter? Your Majesty. The words are only used when the Igbe is either dead or missing, or maybe the kingdom is under attack. Were you to warraz of any the kingdom? Speak to us. Come. Come with me. Your Majesty, please talk to us. Who is a royal order? As, As your, your Majesty, Majesty please. please. Udokolo. With my bare buttocks and scrotum on your sacred ground, I, Igwe Idejiogu, reverse the curse of Ibadandu Fere placed on the family of Ubuago by my great-great-great-grandfather. With this offer, I seal it.
172 years ago, Ujofo, a member of the Ugoago family, mother, the daughter of Inuali, in a fit of anger. They were just married. They were barely six months in marriage. She was pregnant for him too. But he did it in a fit of anger. Now, his rich father, well, his father was very rich. No, no. Instead of showing remorse and surrendering the culprits to be hanged as situation stipulated, his rich father went ahead to bribe the people, even royal council members. And then instigated rebellion against the, the Igwe. He went to the Igwe, who is the current Igwe's great, great grandfather. Looked him straight in the eye and told him, uh, choose between your throne and my son's life. Igwe Obasuku knew that he would lose if he insisted on justice. So he backed down and retained his throne. Before he did that, he cried to the shrine of Udokulu, sat on the ground with his bare buttocks and his cotton touching the, the, the soil, raised his offer and pronounced a badan dufle against Zubuagu and his family. And what is Ubalandufle? Ubalandufle is uh, the, the most sacred decree any Igwe can pronounce. Mm -hmm. To the family against which it is pronounced, anybody born into that family becomes less than a slave. In fact, just a little bit above an osu in the overall affairs of the kingdom of uh, Enuani. He might be free to interact with the people, even take chieftaincy titles, but such a person is not permitted to hold any public office whatsoever in the kingdom. Once it is pronounced, no one can reverse it, no one can oppose it. No one can even persecute the Igbe for pronouncing that decree. Anyone who tries it, would be killed by the gods and his entire family would be wiped away. That is how strong Ibadan Dufele is. Yes. Ibadan Dufele lasts for 700 years except an Igwe decides to lift the decree. And to do so, he must pass through the whole, the entire process that Igwe who pronounced the decree passed through. And that's exactly what Ibe Dejogu has just done without any urgent reason known to me or to any council member. Oh, from all you've just said since you came back from the shrine, he acted strangely before and after doing it. And there's absolutely no reason you could muster to justify that. Huh? Yes. He shed tears before we left the palace. He also shed tears after the event in the shrine. The mother lady was his blood. The Igbe who made the pronouncement was his ancestor. There is no known urgent or compelling reason for him to do that, as far as we are concerned. Now, Captain Obuago, who is a son of that family, by virtue of his success in his career, is a very highly revered person in the community. He holds a very high title. So I don't see him condescending so low as to make such a demand of the Igbe. So, what happened? My husband. 
I don't know how you feel or what I just want to say now. I think the, His Majesty is being blackmailed. Yes. Blackmailed? Huh? By who? Captain Ubago or who? I don't know, but it's your close friend, your childhood friend for that matter, isn't he? I suggest you go see him privately. Huh? Perhaps he has something to tell you. Perhaps he needs help. Your help. Huh? Please go. Go and see him. They say you want that time you put your desk and left for the palace. Uh, okay. Yeah, because Asha. Thank you. Go away. It's your conqua. I don't want this your salmon. I don't need it. Not now. Not ever. You and I have been childhood friends. Your family and mine have enjoyed very robust relationship over a hundred years now. Between us, we have deeply shared each other's joys and pains, successes and failures, progress and setbacks. I am the youngest member of the Royal Council today. In fact, in the history of Inu and the Kingdom. You made that possible by appointing me a member of this most prestigious council in the Kingdom. After my father's death nine years ago, Your Majesty. Whatever it is that is bothering you, please confide in me. Please, for all time's sake, for the sake of this relationship that you considered in the first place before appointing me into this council, I vow to you that I will give you every support, every understanding, every backup you need. If you need protection, I will protect you, even with my life, I vow to you. What is this problem? What is bothering you? Please tell me, open up to me, Your Majesty. You want me to confide in you, right? Yes, About what? Childhood and family friend. Just hold it. What I did today is the first phase of what I am planning. The second phase will follow before the end of today. I am going to announce publicly the immediate appointment of Captain Onyemechi Alfred Obuago as a member of the Royal Council of Enwane. How much is Don't bother with the exclamation. Don't be shocked. You asked that I confide in you, and I just did that. Now, can you please leave me alone? Your Majesty, you are dancing on the grave of a murdered relative of yours. What do you think you are doing? 
exercising the royal privileges and authority as the king of Inuani kingdom. That's what I'm doing. It's out of your own volition or under duress? Chief, Ichie Okonkwo, I owe you no explanations for my decisions and actions. And having said this, please leave my palace now. You are scaring me. For goodness sake, you are scaring me. This crown that you always put on your head is not cosmetic. It is not for mere decoration. It represents a solemn responsibility bequeathed to you by your great ancestors. What's going on? Who is blackmailing you to so desecrate? Will you get, get out? Will you just get out? Will you just get out? Get out! Get out! Out! Chimba, Igwe, Otiaga, Igwe, Ai, Igwe, Igwe, Otiaga, Otimba, Igwe, Kenwan, Igwe, Kenwan, Oy to Murazo, the sixteenth of Enuani Kingdom. Today, Igwe, I declare you the best king in the world as far as I am concerned. Igwe, Today I pledge my unwavering loyalty to you. Today I bow in sincere homage to you, Igwe. Igwe. Ochiaga Ochimba. Go on, make her say. Ochiaga Ochimba Inuana. Oto Tungwa. Omeko Kuriki, Igwe. Eh? Omeko Kuriki. Ozo Dimba Giaka Dowa Gono. Igwe Gadelegan. Ay! Oh, what a way, can he be? He can never delegate. He can get up. He can dull. Get up and sit. He can Sit down. He can dull. Sit down. Sit, sit, sit down. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. sit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Your Majesty. Oh! Your Majesty. Igwe, I did not ask you to do me this great favor that you did me and my family today, but you did it. I do not know why you did it, but you did it. Your Majesty, I want you to know that my heart is full of joy. 
I also want you to know, Your Majesty, that the entire ancient family of Wobuago is in deep debt to you, my king. For you have done wonderfully well for us. And that is why I have come. With this token, as it should be, to say thank you. On behalf of my family, the entire Ubuagos, present and generations yet unborn, for lifting the burden of this shameful cause of a badanda of that we have born for over 172 years. Igwe, other kings came and passed. Did nothing but you have done this for us. This I will never forget. Your Highness, Dala. <clears throat> Ah, 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 ah. Mm. I greet you. I thank you. I thank you very sincerely for appreciating what I have done. What I did, I did for who it should be done to and done for. I thank you. Ochiaga, your coming in was trailed by curtains upon curtains, and I was watching mesmerized. I thank you for the drinks. You're yeah, welcome. Yeah, this, you. is, this is only a token compared to what you have done for my family and entire lineage. Igwe. Oh, I am happy. Uh, since this news broke, I have been dancing and rejoicing, Igwe. But I've also been thinking of how best to show my gratitude, to appreciate you for all you have done. And only one thing kept coming to mind. One thing, you're misbehaving children, your majesty. And so I put my mind to it and I came up with a solution. Oh, Chaga. I am all ears. Your majesty. Eagle. Your majesty. Oh. There's trouble. What is it? What? Oh, Chaga. Oh, Chaga. Oh, What's this? Eh? Your Majesty. Eh? Look at what your children did to me. Oh my God. Eh? They inflicted this pain on me simply because I was trying to stop them from cutting away the church fund, which they invaded the parish to steal this afternoon. If not for the timely intervention of the catechist and some church youths, they would have killed me, Your Majesty. Look at. Hey! Goodness me. God. Goodness me. Where are those devils? Yes! Where are those devils? Where are they? Where are they? Your Majesty. Yes! The police have taken them away. Ha! Ah! Oh my God. May the police... May the police put them in the hottest dungeon. That is my position. Let the church do whatever they want. Dim fit. Aye. I want to apologize to you on behalf of our people for this mess. 
I'm sorry. It's fine. Uh, but I assure you that this will be decisively dealt with as I personally would see to it. Uh, please. Okay. I know how this looks and I know how you feel. Oh, please. Please. Uh, okay. Please. I'm sorry. Uh, gentlemen. Salus. Salus. Take father. I'll go to the hospital. Let them know that I'll be with you. Yes, sir. Captain. Uh, Your Highness, Your Highness, uh, it, it's fine. Uh, I understand how that looked, but it's nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, remember, these are your people. They are your blood. Uh? Captain. Your Highness. Captain, these children certainly crossed the red line this time. Mm. Uh, Stealing from the house of God and assaulting a reverend father. Ah! That's the height of it. That's the height of it. Those children. Those children will rot in jail. Your, your Majesty, please. Uh, temper justice with mercy. That is not a solution. You have to apply wisdom here. Captain Wako. Captain Obuago, listen, listen. I am not going to lift my finger. I'm not going to lift your hand to help these children. They will have to face the music. They will face the music. They will pay. Pay dearly for what they have committed. They will. They will. They will. Tell you, they will. Your Majesty, please, please, let me help you. Allow me to get on top of this situation and help you clean out this mess. Huh? If for nothing else, for all that you did for me today, please, Your Majesty, with your permission, I beg to take my leave. I'll be in touch. You. You! Uh, 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 your Highness. You! Your let me, let me! Your Highness, Your Highness, please. Please, please. This, this is definitely not the way, please. Oh, please. Please sit. Please. You have to take it easy. Uh, how long? It's okay. You can, you can stand right there. Uh, Daddy will not bite. Uh, uh, your Highness, she can't be doing this all the time. Uh, uh, this, this, this would not help. Uh, how long have you walked this road, yet no positive solution to the problem? Uh, no sane man does the same thing over and over again and expects a different result. <laughs> it's unrealistic, Igwe. And I know you to be a sane man. Uh, please, calm down. Hmm? They're here see. now. Let, let's all settle down and find a way out of this shameful quagmire. I, I, I believe that we can make something out of this too, still. Captain. Captain. Captain, these two urchins have They've crossed the red line. They've taken it too far. They have. I know. I know. But well, now I am involved. I am on top of it. And I promise you that things will be different. Huh? Please, Your Highness. Uh, both of you, get on your knees. Get on your knees! I apologize. Apologize. 
Good. Um, Dad, we are so, so sorry. From the depth of my heart, this will not happen again. Yes, Dad, we are sorry. It will never happen again. In fact, I will personally go to the parish and apologize to the Reverend Father. Hmm? Yes. It won't happen again, I promise. Well, you have to. You need to do that for me to, to forgive you. Yes. You need to. Or oh, oh, I disown both of you. And I don't care. I don't care. The consequences I'm going to face, not even for the dynasty, not for, not for my own personal self. I don't care. I am past caring. Captain, I've had it up to here. I have. No, Dad. It will not come to that. We have permanent solution already here. Um, Dad, you know, you've always wanted us to travel back abroad to complete our studies and get drug help. Mm -hmm. And we've always kicked against it. But on our way back from the station, Captain Obuago spoke to us. He convinced us that we should travel back abroad for rehabilitation and complete our studies too. Mm. So, was so reasons with him. He also said he will get our American visa in our hands once we are ready. So, we are, we are ready to change. We want to go back. We want to change. Captain. Captain Obuago. Hmm. You're not pulling my legs. No, I'm not pulling your legs, Your Majesty. Uh, this was exactly what I was trying to talk to you about before the guard came in and you know interrupted us but like I said if you calm down uh, you you would find uh, out that we can salvage this situation okay I know some people I, I have I have good contacts uh, please you go, calm down <laughs> uh, both of you <laughs> get up All right. Yeah, um, um, you're welcome to this meeting. Um, I'm going to dispense with the usual protocol. Go straight to this meeting, which must be precise and short. I have made an important appointment. So I hereby announce the appointment of Captain Onyemechi Alfred Obuago as a member of this Royal Council. <laughs> so he will be sitting with us. Um, he is the Ochaga Ochimba. Ochimba. Ochaga, are you there? He will. Good. Please take a uh, take your seat. Chief. Chief. Good. Thank you very much, Your Highness. Uh, well, I'm not a man of many words. Um, first, I'd like to say that I am happy to be here. I am very happy to be counted as one. Um, I also want to say that um, 
now that I am a part of the elders in council, there will be effective and visible change in any other kingdom. Good. Thank you, very much. Good. 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 For us, within the next three days, uh -oh. <laughs> I have therefore drawn drawn up a payment schedule on how this money will be utilized. With all due respect, Your Majesty, this is a decision only the Royal Council can take through voting. And it's your convoy is correct. Ah. Understand it. All right. Why don't you people watch how I'm going to play this before you crucify me? Uh, sorry, Hear me no. out. Sorry. You good. Good. Sorry. Now, you see, in this year we still have a voice in this. They will ratify what I'm going to do or reject it. Is that not so? That's that it. is it. All right, the payment or sharing arrangement is as follows. 40 million Naira will go to the Igwe. 20 million Naira will go to Ochaga or Chimba here. Then the rest of the Ndichie will be getting 10 million Naira each. <laughs> Your Majesty, this is public money we are talking about. My friend, keep quiet. Why would you keep quiet? Please, please. please. Those in support of the new sharing arrangement, please raise your hands. Good. So we have two. Thank you. Those against the sharing arrangement, your hands up. Okay, thank you. We have two people. Um, Ochiaga or Chimba, your vote. Oh, you may. Uh, please, I beg to, to abstain. I hereby throw my lot with the supporters of the new arrangement. <laughs> this also means that this council has ratified the sharing formula. Igwe. <laughs> As if he has not done enough damage to the dignity of his throne, he ordered Ichiobaka and I out of the palace for daring to, to, to oppose that proposal. What? Imagine. What I, in God's name is going on? I huh? don't know. I don't know what's going on. Lord, I know that it's not going to happen. I will not let it happen. How? Again, I don't know. But they can only succeed over my dead body. Yes! As long as I live, they will never have their way. I have sworn it. Ha! You've told me everything, except what the sharing formula is. Okay. I mean, how do they intend to share the money? Okay, listen. They want to give the Igwe 40 million naira. 40 million! Now, Captain Obuago gets 20 million naira. What? For reasons the Igwe refused to disclose. Yeah. And then 30 million naira to Ono Wosakwe, Icho Obaka, Icho Keke, and myself. 30 million naira each. Then nothing, absolutely nothing for the people whose communal land is being sold. Imagine that! It will not happen. Ah. Wait, 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 just calm down, calm down. Did I hear you say 10 million naira for who? You? If it, I've told you it's not going to happen. It will not happen. No one takes anything except that 10% tradition allows Igwe to take. That is all. <laughs> with due respect, Nkem, Edaya. No, 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 you've, this time around you fell big time. 
In fact, you will stop whatever opposition you are putting up against the arrangement. Nanya, huh? Ten million are you going to end there? Are you out of your mind? You heard me well. Is your name in the comment room? In the comment room. Eh? Tell me, what are you fighting for? Have you not done enough for the people of this community? No! Have you not done enough? Eh? Tell me, who are you putting up this fight for? Eh? All of them in the council have children. Except you! If it, you heard me well. You heard me in the room. If those with children do not care about the present and future of this kingdom, why should you? Eh? Nah. Go and get that 10 million so that both of us will enjoy the rest of our days in this life. You have to go and bring that money so that we will enjoy the rest of our days. Yes! Ten million naira or asylum. Or you go back. Pick up a ha. Yeah. I found out. I feel good. Ten million naira. It's your bag. To us. And all the great. People of our beautiful kingdom. Cheers. As a cheers. Cheers. Ah. Ocha. Mm. This <clears throat> is a good one. Strong, eh? Very good. You like it? I knew you. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> That's good. Mm. Obak, I want you to know that I am happy that you're here. Huh? And to your question as to why I invited you here, I want you to be known that I am not happy with the way the Igwe treated you and each year Congo. Treated both of you like your errand boys. Both of you are titled men of this great community and as such should have the Igwe's respect. That is what I think. the king. We cannot take that away from him. We give that to him. However, he must understand that we all cannot agree with him on all his views. That would be almost unrealistic, don't you think so? Huh? I am not happy and that is why I have invited you here. Ochaya. Oh God, regular man. Ochaya, I say, God, regular man. You say? Hey. I say, more God, regular man. You say? Ochaya, oh God, regular man. <laughs> Thank you for saying this. Thank you for seeing the truth and saying it. My God will bless you. And you too, Ichi Obaka. Thank you. Ichi, I learned that... Um, one of your sons in a couple of months will be completing his national youth service program. Is that true? Yes, our chair. I see. <laughs> uh, each year, I have an old friend who wants to repay me a favor. An industrialist owns a lot of companies in the United States. He's asked me to send names of two young men from this community, preferably two names, with a job offer of 100,000 US dollars, amongst other benefits, as you can guess. But a challenge that I am having each year that I don't know what names to send. My name is Nandi Banya Sinani Sinuno. We're the Lima. We're Obama. 
But since you're seated here, let me ask you, would you like for me to send your son's name to him? Chineke, <laughs> wait. Ocha, I, I didn't hear you. Or did I? I am I in trance? <laughs> You're not in trance. I'm asking you again. Ichi Obaka, would you like me to send your son's name to my friend in the US? Of course, yes. Yes, in capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> This is too good to be truth. Ocha, I hope you are not pulling my leg. How can I possibly pull your legs, Ichi Obaka? I am Captain Onyeme Ichi Alfred Obuago, U.S. Army, retired, a veteran of so many fierce battles across the world. The Ochiaga. Ochimba, one of Enuane kingdom. What I say, I mean, and what I mean, I say. And whatever it is that I want, I get. Ochaya Ochimba. I'll get it. Ebu Bedike. I'll get it. Odogunaya. O Fujinya Roha. Hey! Abba Udikizu. I'll get it. Ochaya, my God will bless you. The people's warlord. Hmm? You are blessed. You will never die. Ah, uh, but hold on a second. That offer comes with a condition. Condition? Oh, yes. Uh, Ocha, what condition? That you are going to stop opposing the Igwe on the recently initiated sharing formula as it concerns the incoming funds. Captain Obuag. So you are one of them. What in the name of goodness are you people up to? Ichi Obaka, the answer to that question is irrelevant to you right now. What is relevant to you is the next offer that I have as an addendum to the already existing offer on the table. And that is a sum of five million naira from my money to you, which brings your money. To the sum of 50 million naira. It's your back. At this point, even you will attest to the fact that I don't only love you, but I also love your son. And so I'm going to ask you quietly. Do we have a deal?
How can a king like you kneel in front of you? Begging you to see the kingdom of God. 37 minutes gone. That is seven minutes gone. What does that even mean? It means if you are not on top of me in the next 23 minutes, I will have the heavens crashed on my dad's head. You must have a lot of gods, young woman. You dare to blackmail your father in front of me. Did I not make it very clear, explicitly clear, to you and your brother that any more of this nonsense would see the both of you clashing with me? What is this? I ask you, young woman, what is this? 40 minutes gone, Dad. Hey. Hey. But Jago Jimba, you go. Ah. Oh, Jago Jimba. See, the situation is drastically different now. She has all. But Jaga, if you feel any pity for me, please, please do it for me. Please. Stop this. Stop it. What does this shit that will have on you? What makes you think that this outrageous, atrocious act you want me to indulge in is justified? You go talk to me. What is going on here? Hi. Hi. Igwe. Igwe. I can't, I can't tell you anything now. I cannot. Yes, I cannot. But I tell you, it is so dangerous. So dangerous that it would make me go naked in the marketplace. If she so desires. Yes. Ah. Oh. I see what this is about. Huh? <laughs> this is a family racket. Huh? This is what you did to the Odo Owo and Ichi, okay? okay. The both of you got them to indulge in this dirty act. And then you turned around to black men. This is what you two do, the prominent men of this kingdom and Igwe. You! There to pick me. Igwe, I thought that you were my friend. Yet you dare to pick me as your next target. Come on, Igwe. How could you? Mm. Mm. No. Mm. No. No. Ochaga. Ochaga. No. You see, the case is drastically different. Listen, no one is going to blackmail you. I can assure you, you will not be blackmailed. Okay? See, I'll sign any document you prepare for me. I'll sign it. In fact, I, I will even say it on video. You record it. Record it that I, that I, have given you my daughter to sleep with. Please, do it. Just believe me. Excuse me, Dad. <laughs> you heard him, right? There will be no case of blackmail. So, 
I'm good if you're good. Uh, it's your you see, I've always known you to be a very upright man. And in fact, today, you took it a step further at the palace. In fact, that is why I, uh, I was coming to your house to see you. If I met you here. In fact, I was coming to uh, congratulate you. And um, uh, I want to urge you to continue on this path of truth and justice because Almighty God rewards those who defend truth and justice abundantly. <clears throat> I agree with you. But in this particular case, take the God Almighty out of it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because the God Almighty blesses whom he wants to bless, irrespective of what that person does. Ah. Sure. Don't you remember the case of uh, Ubaka? Leave the case of whatever or whoever. Listen, God Almighty is just and wise, and the gods of our land are protect us and keep us of Ofonobu. <laughs> Why are you talking this way? It's your conqua. Upon all this year uprightness, all these years. It's your conqua. Upon your uprightness all these years, the God Almighty and the gods of our land fail to fill you at home with one thing you desire so much as a man, even as a husband. Um, um, it's your back. You see, there are things a friend is not supposed to tell his friends, no matter how truthful he believes it is. Uh, and I hope you just realize that what you just told me is one of the all sorts of things. I don't mean to uh, uh, Hold on, I'm not taking off any offense here, but um, actually, uh, what you just said, if it is a mockery, it is rated at my chi. And if he is interested, let him answer you. Uh, before we digress, I will just come into your house to uh, tell you one or two things before we met here. Mm -hmm. uh, Which is? You see, merely opposing the ego over the incoming money is not enough. See, I have an action you go, to go. You said you were coming to my house now. You were actually coming to the wrong place. <laughs> and right now, you are talking to the wrong person. What are you talking about? What do you mean? That I have changed sides. You see that money? I want it. I want that money for a reason. I don't think I can tell you, even as my best friend. Mark. Mm -hmm. Don't ever try to convince me otherwise. If you want to fight the Igwe in council, you can go ahead. You are on your own. I'm no more with you henceforth. But let me advise you. Allow the sleeping dog lies. I am done with this discussion. In fact, um, I want to go and see a friend. Eh? So find your way. Thank you. projects I already mapped out for that money. So you can look at them as we discuss. Now, imagine where these projects, if properly implemented, will land our kingdom. Imagine where supporting me to achieve these projects will put you in the, in, in the hearts and minds of our people. Now, you see, when you think about these things, 
Now, you realize that merely abstaining from votes of counsel in, uh, the, uh, on this crazy sharing formula proposed by the Igbe, it might be good, but not good enough, my captain. Let me be blunt here, sir. Prince in America and Princess Juwa are, in fact, they are almost lost souls. In fact, they, 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 they are waste of a monumental dimension. I'm telling you this. Several times over, they have blackmailed their father into taking very outrageous decisions. Decisions detrimental to the future of this kingdom. Now, for the Igbe to come up with this crazy idea, ha, I know, I very much know that they are at it again. They are at it again. If the Igbe cannot stand up as a man, a father, and a king, to, to, to stop these rascals from turning the kingdom, the, the very palace, into a kingdom of shame. Mm -mm. Are we supposed to tow his line? Tell me, Captain. Are we supposed to follow him? Even you, an American trained army officer, an internationally recognized veteran of war all over the world in many countries must you tell that line no must you tell that line too i don't think so so please please my captain join me in stopping this madness join me in stopping this madness as, as Okay, Look at what is coming out of your mouth. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Can't you chew your words before you say them? Listen, Captain Ubuago and my daughter Ujungwa are of age. Aren't they? Are they not? If my guards will have to throw you out, I will ask them to break your bones, your hands, your legs into pieces. And for your information, do not ever mention my daughter's name again. Not in this palace and not any other place. 
do I make myself clear? Your Majesty, are you still no, Gods? Sorry. Gods! Sorry, sorry, your Majesty. Sorry, sorry, your Majesty. You see, I've never known both of you to be irresponsible. We are uh, the affairs of our community and our people is concerned. I don't know what's okay. I'm sorry I joined you too quickly uh, over the uh, sex saga uh, between you and the uh, Princess Ujua. Uh, I never knew that both of you, uh, you as yourself and uh, Ichio Keke, happen to be victims of um, a lost princess. Yes, you heard me well. The prince, Princess Ujua is a lost person, lost personality. Completely lost. And uh, so is our brother Prince in America. You see, uh, both of them have succeeded in wrapping their father, Igwe, in, 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 in a parcel of shame. Parcel of shame. You see, uh, the Igwe no longer uh, does things out of his own volition. No. Eh? In fact, right now he, 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 he finds it difficult to to even see the right thing, uh, not talk of differentiating uh, right from wrong, or uh, good from evil, you see? That's why he, he makes so many mistakes, you see? Takes the wrong decisions at the wrong times and those things that are detrimental to the kingdom, okay? You see? You know, but um, as, as men, as men uh, entrusted with the uh, custom and tradition of our people, we are custodians, of course. It behoves on us to stand firm, stand with good, yeah, and fight against the evil that is about to engulf our kingdom. Yeah? Let us stand against Igwe uh, uh, Idejogu and uh, his children, his reckless children, before they wreck this kingdom. You see? Igwe is not himself. That is why he, he, he took that decision he took over the uh, sharing formula of uh, the, you know, the, the, the money that uh, we're expecting. That is true. So, and the only way we can counter him, and that's why I'm here, the only way we can counter him is to call an emergency council meeting to reverse that decision we, we, we took. Hmm? Because that voting was was wrong. It was lopsided. It was. It, it, it shouldn't even have happened at all. Yeah. Let us let us stand against evil. What he is doing is evil. It is not good. Yeah? Let us rise against him and say no to this, so that uh, our kingdom can move forward. Yeah. Please. That is why I've come to see both of you. And they will. Ichio Kungwa, if your manhood shoots as strong as your mouth. Of course, you would have been able to produce very healthy and strong children running all over your compound. But alas, it's not so. The words you speak are as empty as your manhood yes. producing nothing you are as empty as your manhood <laughs> that's the truth in fact you see why can't you for once sh shut up eh? because if the energy you are exerting in talking you channel it into your manhood. <laughs> Maybe by now you would have uh, gotten at least half a child. Half a child, at least. Yes, half a child. Mm. Or Karawa. Mm. <laughs> you would have gotten even crippled uh -huh. without legs. Half. You would have gotten that. Or if it's even the ones with all those ones, it's all. Papa Monyo, Nyonka, Nyonka. A child is a child. A child is a child. A child is a child. Talking to the father. Father's father's father's. <laughs> Castrated oh, blood. Uh, Castrated <laughs> blood. You can imagine that. Empty words. Empty. Oh, yeah. empty. Very empty. empty. Very, very empty. Huh? Look at you. Go back to your quiet compound. Yes. Mm.
and going team, home now. No charge, man. No charge to come and say, yeah. Daddy or yo yo. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a, a, a dog is there. Come down with your car. Castrated fool. words to describe me. Hold on. What is going on here? What exactly is going on here? Someone tell me. Oh, okay. Okay. Is this an alliance of shameless adulterers yeah, bound together by the allure of a princess womanhood which she has turned into an ignoble men's public toilet? Yes, with the active support and connivance of, of, of a black man's father. That's it! How the hell? Ah! Ah! me! Come and stop me again! Go! Raise those filthy fans of yours against me again! And I, I, I will show you that my father was a dog trainer! No! I will show you that I'm Romain Taro from an Eku, okay? Yes! I learned how to bite from a bingo! Look at you! Yes! Even if because of my honor and dignity, I cannot uh, ravage your private Afghanistan like, like, like these fools are doing. At least I can use my teeth to scatter it for this useless, stinking, retired military dog besides you. I can do it! Nonsense! Look at you! What did you call? Oh, you didn't hear me properly. Yes, no, you didn't hear me properly. I called you retired general Ochaya Amuyana Gofe. Yes, I'm okay now, Gofe. Look at you. You think I'm afraid of. Mm. You are nothing but retired. Ocha, Ocho to the princess Ujuma, what of in the kingdom? That's what you are, nothing more. You say you're not afraid of me. What should I do? You have just made your case worse. You are not going to leave this place until they beat the fear of me back into your head. And he will bow at my feet, trembling and begging for his life, else he will never see my pants again. No, 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 come on, baby. Come on, no, no. It hasn't come to that yet. Huh? It's fine, baby. For your sake, this man is already a sorry case. Boys, who got you? Well, come on, come on. Oh, because of this, come on. Oh, do you why? Generally, come on, me. Generally, do you Oh, do you why? Yeah, I'm the one, Look at you. and Ichi Okeke say it's right that you overuse your mouth and underuse your manhood. Even you? You my own wife? How did you get to 
know what they said to me? <laughs> 10 million. <laughs> that 10 million, we must get that money. I will do everything possible to make sure that money becomes ours. Yes! And if you are trying to stop me, then start preparing how to contend with evil in me. Yes. Better go in there. Go in there, pack your things, and get back to your father's house. Go back to your father's house and stay there. Because if you dare, if you dare oppose me again, I'll, I'll kill you. Yes, I will kill you. If you dare oppose my stand on that money issue again, I will kill you and damn the consequences. Oh, you are threatening me because I, 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 I spoke my mind uh, on that issue, Akwea. Take a look at me. No. Take a good look at me and you will know that I'm dead serious. If you dare oppose me again, I will kill you. Take a good look at me and you will know that I'm dead serious. From every other person, I might endure. But from my wife, I never, never try me again. Just try me again. Idiot. Okay. Nonsense. No problem. No problem, oh. We shall see. We shall see. Since poverty is your second name, we shall see. Oh. Good evening, Captain. Ah, uh, madam, you made me understand that your husband has already fallen for our tricks. Earlier yes. that we planned. Yes, Captain. Far easier than we had thought, Captain. The beating and humiliation which you and His Majesty suggested really worked. No. You need to see the mood in his face. It was such that the peaceful man that I married quickly resorted to threat of violence. Yes, ha. you need to listen to it. You know what I mean? I'll kill you. Yes, I will kill you. You <laughs> my stand of that morning. Uh, spot on, spot on. Um, good job. Thank you very much. Keep it that way. Uh, um, you know that the reason I told you to record your encounters with him is so that you have something that you can use against him. Since you agreed to play along with us. Uh, uh, you're doing a very good job. But very importantly, your husband is not allowed to know that you have that. Uh, of course. Do you hear me, madam? Yes, yes. He is not allowed to know that you have that in your possession. Unless, of course, he begins to threaten to deal with you physically. Huh? But for now, you're doing a good job. Keep piling pressure. Keep piling pressure until you break him down. Huh? And while at it, don't forget your reward. <laughs> Three million naira, madam, will do you a lot of good. Hmm? For my share of the money, I'll give you three million. So as you do this, constantly think of what all that money can do for you. I will do my best to make him comply with you people, Ochago Chamber. Hmm? <laughs> I know my husband. Yeah. I understand his emotions. Eh? I'm the only one that knows how to handle him. Uh, nobody else. So, please, do keep to your own side of the deal. Ah, uh, madam. You talk as if you do not know who I am. No declaration of mine returns to me for it. I am Captain Onyemechi Alfred Uwago. Mm. U.S. Army, retired, a veteran of so many fierce battles across the world. The Ochiaga Ochimba of Inuane Kingdom. Hmm. I say what I mean. 
I mean what I say. Oh, Dagu! And whatever it is that I want, I get. Oh, Dagu! And I Dagu promise you today, you are going to get all that you desire for doing a good job. Oh, Dagu! Etu kasangia! Ocha, ochumba! One! Of a man again. Etu kasangia! Oh, Dagu! Stay quiet. Oh, I can't lie. Oh, Dagu! I believe you. Am I to take it that you are here waiting for a concubine? Just because I step out briefly to attend to something very important? Eh? Let me pretend I did not hear that. Where are you coming from by this time of the night without informing me? Onya Juju. Eh, drum! Teacher! Ask me! Headmaster of Obian Central School. Ask me again, but join me. Let me again, again, let me pretend that I did not hear that insult. Now, where is my food? <laughs> oh, if Echi is on strike, my dear husband. Mm. Um, what does that mean? It means I will neither cook nor open my legs for you again. Until you change your mind about the sharing idea which your mate in the Royal Council have approved. Nano? Ifechi. Ifechi. How many times have I called you? Now listen. This your handshake is passing the elbow. I will no longer tolerate it. The people at the health center, give me drugs. Some of which I cannot take unless I eat very well. Therefore, I must eat very well before I take some of them. Please go in there, get me my food so that I will eat well and I take my drugs. Hmm. You know your way to the kitchen, don't you? No, you know your way to the kitchen. Eh? Like I said before, I am on strike. I'm about going to strike. Yes, if you here, it's on strike. <laughs> Good night. Solution. Okay? No, you think by ignoring me, you will make me change my mind. You fail. You fail woefully. Okay. Just go to the palace and return without your own share of the money. I will curse you and cause this compact. And I will leave this bad luck we call marriage. Eh? Yeah? As you can see, my back is packed already. Eh? Yeah? So go and get your own share. Or return empty hand. If you hear me like here, yeah. Sense. Use, use, use less man. Anofia, headmaster of Ubiam Central School. Nonsense. Stupid man. Anofia. Don't know how somebody would just like poverty. Poverty. Hello? Ocha or Chimba? He just left the house to the palace. And again, he didn't say anything. Not even a word. Ah. That 
very strange. Very strange. A uh, woman, relax, okay? No matter what the situation is, I am positive that we can handle it. Thank you. Uh, we'll be in touch. Gentlemen. What did she say? You mean after the stunt she pulled in packing her luggages and threatening to cuss him and walk out of the marriage, he said nothing. Like Ichi Okonkwo didn't say anything to her. Yes, that is what she called to say. <clears throat> Odogo, I'm no longer comfortable with this. A man given to enthusiastically saying his mind on issues like this, Ichi Okonkwo suddenly did not want to talk to any of us. Even including his wife, since three days now. Something must be wrong. It's sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's sure, okay, okay. Why are you perturbed when you have Captain Onyemechi Alfred Obuago, <laughs> U.S. Army, retired, a veteran, so many fierce battles across the world. Your Chiara or Chimba, one of Inua and the kingdom, leading the pack. Aye, it's okay, okay. What I say, I mean, and what I mean, I say. And whatever it is I want, I get. Oh, no. My colleague, Mr. Benson, is down with malaria. Reasons why he's absent. Your Majesty, when you requested cash payment, my company changed the money into US dollars for easy handling. With me here is the sum of 100 million naira in US dollars. Bring that, let me give it to His Majesty. Okay, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Something is not right here. What Something is definitely not right here. These people gave up too easily. Yes, for a people who are so desperate to lay their hands on this money. No, for them to have just given up like that. Hey, I suspect something. Uh, Koko. Yeah. Remember we vowed to you that we will go to any let to stop them. That day they beat you up. Okay. Uh, maybe your suspicion might be right. But you should know that we are not determined that day. Yes. Ichiro, we are very determined. And I tell you this, Ichiro Konko. You see, whatever they are planning there in the palace, we will always be a step ahead of them. Exactly. Yes. It's either they agree with you or us. Because we, the youths, we mobilize the entire youths of this Enuani kingdom and burn this kingdom down. Uh, uh, mm, please, no one is burning anywhere. Okay? Listen. Listen. Us is to develop Enuani, not to destroy it. Eh? So, we are going to do... Listen, yes, I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, meanwhile, this place is not safe enough for us. Uh -huh. uh, uh, yes, considering what just happened. So, let's move. As we move along, I will tell you what I have in mind. Yeah, let's now. go. Let's Something go, let's just... Go. I will tell you. Come on, come Let me tell you what we are going to do. Let me tell you what we are going to do. The 
thought they had it all perfectly planned. The thought they had cowed me and caged me. Fools. I may not know the extent of their evil conspiracy and how they got my wife to join them in it. But today, I am going to make them realize that I am the one who says what I mean, means what I say, and gets whatever I want. And not Captain Wan Yubuago, veteran of many Otule, bottom walls all over the Ashawo houses all over the world. I am leaving anyone with the youth leaders right away. And we will never come back until everybody involved in this cons in this this evil conspiracy has been exposed and punished. Stop this display. I just saw you strangling your wife. Eh? Come on, I will stop that rubbish. Stop that stupid joke. What nonsense is this? How can I strangle my wife? For what? I'm not going to just do that. Imagine. Don't pull up, Fanwana. Don't pull up, Fanwana. If you want to come, oh. Don't pull up, Fanwana. 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 Don't pull Stop. Yes! Stop. 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 As you can see, I'm packed. I want to leave this kingdom. Nah. Like right now? Look right now. Immediately. <laughs> I like you. Right here. The one million naira that I promised you is at a cash. It's a bullet. Udo. Okay. Uh, what have you done? Nietzsche! Sit down. Sit! Sit down. Nietzsche, <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Now, but you all were here. Huh? Oh, no, no, here. This young man made it clear that he wants to leave the skin immediately. And I gave him the fastest ticket out of the skin. And you all are looking at me like that. Why? Uh, Man, that was not what we agreed with him. Yes. Uh, the only constant thing in life is change. Uh, the plans have changed. He had to go like that. Hmm? That boy is not only an ex convict, but he's a lying criminal. He knows too much. He had to go. Uh, if I did not send him off that way. The shadow of the blackmail from that idiot there is going to hang over our heads for the rest of our lives. Is that what you want? I'm sure that the answer is no. The Igwe, His Majesty, already knows that he's going to end that way. Huh? And he does not have a problem with it. But does any of you have a problem? Oh, no, I'm just no, 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 Do you have a problem? I don't. I don't. No, indeed. Just so that I am sure. I don't have any problem. I don't have any problem. Where is this bag? I don't know. Do you see the 
the bag here? This is. Ah, we've searched the whole house. There is no bag. Huh? Maybe he kept the bag in the bush. I'm yeah, sure, you're right. Sure. I'm not sure about that. No need searching for it. It's not here. Ah. Someone came to the palace to report that he saw the bag at the shrine of Udeo Kolo. Are you serious? Yeah. So Captain Sash, come and call you guys. So let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Kongpo brought it here and handed it over to Udokolo for safekeeping. Only him or his biological son can take it out of here. How? 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 Ezemo. Ichio Kongpo is dead. He died childless. How can we be? Your Majesty, the gods are wise. Only Ichio Kongpo. A biological son of his, or uh, the person who will be the next king of any other kingdom, can take the bag out of here, out of this sacred ground, and leave. Any other person who tries, no matter how powerful, will be killed by Ude Okolo, even myself. Ah. Even you. Your Majesty. Again, I tell you, the gods are wise. Hey, 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 hey. Why are you people doing to our side? We are here for the bag. We are all here for the bag. You cut me out and you're doing two aside. Now, three aside. Please. Please, let us look for a way to get this bag. Because, hey, 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 let me talk. Because if you think that I fell for this stupid magic here, you are, you are lying. No, now. We came here for something. How are we sure that that old man did not plan that magic trick he just did right now so that we all get scared and run away and then he will corner the money to himself. No, let's put our heads together. You know, I'll find a way out of this. And you people are doing to our side. Listen, um, Captain. Uh, oh, uh, this uh, thing uh, has uh, gone uh, beyond... Uh, the criminal of Enu and the kingdom. Criminal prime minister. Oh no, who for nothing? This is what? This is what? I am beginning to think that you conspired with this chief priest that keeps appearing and disappearing to corner and keep that money. Oh yes! You conspired with him and then you turned around and you conspired with the ever quiet Igwe. Igwe in the mud. Igwe for nothing. Igwe in Potopoto. When we are in crisis, Igwe is not talking. Igwe eh? now. We are cash trapped here. Do something. Let's get the money out. A bank it. Eh? You think I don't know what you did? Oh, yes, of course I know what you did. You have planned this all this time. So when this moment came, Ah, you called your guards to go to Chio Kunkwa's house, collect the money, bring it here. You told Onowu to rent a fake chief priest to come and be doing magic here so that I get scared and I run away. Ta, 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 let, let, let's get the money. Let us be moving. One step at a time. You move, I move. We, we grab this money. It's getting dark. Why are they not talking now? We don't have time. Somebody say something. What is... Ah... Igwe! Okay! <laughs> if you think that what I have just said is not true, tell your guards to get the money. Oh, you will not do it. Uh, guards! Cross over and get this money. Well, as it is now, my guards can't go to that shrine. Exactly. Even at gunpoint, no. Shoot them, kill them. Mm. But I, Igwe, will not ask my guards to go there. Is that so? 
You know, the problem with you people is that you people always think that, um, that I'm joking. But I don't joke. I always come prepared. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Huh? See, 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 see the way all of you are there. So I'm the one here now, looking for this money. Huh? People say, if I have three family, we are all alive. We are going to get that money. Begin to put your hands together to get that money. Eh? Because I cannot be, be here alone. I cross over to the other side. It's, it's still only me. You people move, move that way. What is going on? Eh? Oh, yeah. Let us find a way to get the money. Let us find a way to get the money before I begin to shoot somebody right now. Let's find a way to get the money. Quick, we don't have all that time. Move. Come on. Guys, let's go. Let's find a way to get the money. Listen to every problem. There's a solution, and the solution right here, right now. Osakwe Ono Wu OKK, little pennies OKK, move forward. We clean OKK. Don't look, I'm going. Move forward. We keep moving one step at a time, one step at a time. We grab the money, we lift it, and then we move. Oh yeah, move it, Captain. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not, it's not possible. The only way you will get me into that place. Or get us into that place if you kill us, then dump our cops in, yes. in, 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 in the shrine. Yes, just kill all just of kill us. Just kill all us. of us. I'll give it in. That's it. I'll give it. Ah. Kill us. So now it's gang up against Obuago. It's gang up against Obuago. Okay? So it's gang up against Obuago. I don't understand. So is that gang up against Obuago? Is that is that what is going on? Is gang up against Okay, let me tell you guys something. I can prepare. Captain Obua, we are just beans. We are so beans. What? What? We back a shot up. For I can't prepare for moments like this. I was born. I'm born ready. Obaka, I'm not an ordinary man. Eh? When I prepare to come back to Enuani, I can't prepare. You see those men you're looking at? They are not mere officers. They are trained marabots from Niger. And I'm going to tell them right in front of all of you. To do the need for. Hey, gentlemen, step forward. Hey, hey, that's it. 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 That's okay. Now, eh? the both of you, get yourself together. Eh? We have work to do. That bag belongs to me. Forget what this will tell you. The bag belongs to me. You go there, you get the bag. I'll show you whatever we find in that bag. Mano, mano. Eh? Mano, mano, we share 50 50. Yes, huh? Get it together. Let's do it. Huh? Eh? Eh? Where oh. are you going? Let's Yo, do it. Young man, don't kill yourself. Guy, man, don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Lift it. Don't, go. don't touch. Get the back. Come on. Hey! Um. Igwe, and in the chair. Um, I personally think that um, you all will agree with me that um, the tension in this room right now <laughs> uh, would cut like a knife. But um, at the end of the day, really, it's, uh, it is not necessary. Uh, Igwe, uh, you see, I I'm thinking that we, you know, Douse that tension, you know, with a, with a nice bottle of scotch, you know, something, you know, to go through the throat and calm us down a little. I, it's really, you know, it's, it's heavy in here. Mm -hmm. I have a bottle of scotch I, I bought from France. I, I no know. one wants to take your drink. I don't want your drink. Uh -uh. You should realize the enormity of what we are carrying right now. Uh, it is a big load. And it, if it bursts, we are all finished. First of all, we killed Ichie Okonkwa. Hmm? And lied to the people that he was killed by the youths with whom he colluded to steal the people's money. We also lied to the people 
that he killed his wife to prevent her from exposing him. The people believed us. The police believed us. Particularly when they saw the same youths, some youths leaving this community with bags out of this community. Well, we thought we had everything under wraps. We thought we had no problem. We thought we could go to sleep. Until suddenly, we found out that the same money we lied that was stolen was actually warehoused in the house, in the shrine of Udokolo by the same man we had killed. Eh? And to make matters worse, the chief priest is aware of the truth. Igwe. Igwe, that is the part that scares me. That is the part that scares me. The people will soon know that the money is in the shrine and they will begin to suspect us. Then the chief priest will arrive and tell the people the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Then the people will revolt against us. Igwe, we are finished. We have finished! Yes, he will definitely tell them. And that is if the gods do not kill us themselves before he returns. What we should be discussing here now is the way out. I'm not talking about drink. Eh? Ogu Agu. Igwe. Did this man just address me as Ogu Agu? Damn you and damn respect to Ogu Agu. Eh? Eh? That me, Igwe, you're here. Igwe, you're not saying anything. Huh? I said, damn you and damn respect. You got me into this mess. Mm. By promising me five million extra. And a dream job for my only son in America. Look at how the whole thing turned into a total mess. Oh, well. Forget respect. I said forget respect and tell us solution to this problem. Uh, 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 Igwe. Igwe, you're here. And the elders, your elders in council, have decided to insult me. Igwe, it's your KK is still not apologizing to me. I am going to put my hands on it. Stop it. Stop it. Yes. Make one more move. Come on. Look. Make it. And I will send you back to your answer. Okay, calm down. You are making me sweat. See, now I'm sweating. Uh, calm down. I have a solution. But calm down. Uh, 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 he will tell him to put the, the knife down. He's making me uncomfortable. Uh, 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 tell him to he will say something now. What you should be telling us now is how to get out of this mess. I'm not happy. I know a guy. I know somebody in India. Calm down. Huh? He's a spiritual guru. Uh, you know, I, I, I bring him here. Uh, you know, first he neutralizes the chief priest and, and, and the Udeokolo shrine, and then he helps us get the money. You know? Okay, look, I here. You people are making me sweat. I don't like it. Uh, I'm on top of this. Uh, calm down. Uh, we'll get the money. I also want the money. Uh, and everybody gets their share. And then they we're all happy. And maybe at that point, you begin to address me well, you. Address me properly. Eh? As Captain. Captain. Onye Mechi Alfred Obuagu retired. Eh? A veteran of so many fierce battles across the world. The Ochiaga. Ochimba? Igwe? Were you saying something? Captain Obuagu! Hey! Hey! 
Come on. 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 See what they have reduced your king to. Simeo. Simeo. But why would they treat you this way? What, ah. what really is going on? Ah. Huh? Captain. They wanted to force me to the shrine of Udokono to retrieve money for them. Retrieve money and give them. Captain, I refused. I refused though. Uh, my children have gone completely mad. I'm no longer safe in that parlor, so please help me. I, I, I get it, but I still don't understand why they would do this to you. What? Captain Obuagu, they were marching me at gunpoint to the shrine, beating me, my guts, at last. Someone dropped courage and confronted them. It was at that point that I had chance. I had the chance and escaped and came to started running to this place. As I was coming here, I was hearing gunshots bah, 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 at the palace. Those children are shooting my guards. They are killing my boys. So please help me. Igwe, it's fine. Yeah. I'll take care of this, I uh, promise you, okay? Uh, uh, but for now, please, I need you to... Uh, you, you don't look good. Uh, I don't want someone walking in here and seeing the uh, evil like this. Come on. Come thank on. you. You need to be cleaned up. Thank you. Please. Hey! Please. Hey, we! Hey, we! Hey, we! I have to run to this place. Your Majesty, enemies overpowered, captured, and brought to you, Your Majesty, bound in ropes. Hostile situation neutralized. Casualties in the palace, none. Ah. Ah. Captain, U.S. Army, retired. Onyemechi Alfred Wago. Your Chiara or Chimba one of Inuani Kingdom. Reporting, Your Majesty. Agunawa. Ah! You're kidding me. You mean those boys were not killed? Not minding all those ta 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 I was hearing from the palace. As a matter of fact, Your Majesty, these rascals were not shooting at the guards to kill them, but to scare them, hoping that you would return so that their madness can continue. But U.S. Marine Corps, retired captain, Onye Mechi Alfred I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. And whatever I want, I get. I wanted these fools, and here they are, present to be for you. Yeah. I need you to apologize to your father right now. This is total humiliation now. Daddy, he, he said you should apologize to us. He said you should apologize to us. Okay. That didn't work. Uh, we'll have to try that again. Um, apologize to your father right now. Hmm? Baby, come on now. Apologize to your father! Right now! Mm -hmm. We are sorry. Daddy, we are, we are, we are sorry. We are sorry. The next time Daddy, I issue an instruction and you flout it, I'll put you in an underground cell. Yes. Six months without a ray of light. I'll money, money! That sorry. You come out Daddy, we are sorry. blind. Daddy, we are sorry. Continue to apologize. I'm sorry. Daddy, Daddy, we are sorry. Ah. Make promises. It will never Igwe, happen we again. are sorry. Vow to him huh? that it will never happen again. It will never happen again. You keep apologizing. I keep Daddy, apologizing. I that it will never happen again. Keep apologizing until I'm satisfied. I keep apologizing until you're satisfied.
Satisfied, 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 Sat
And we did what we did to you yesterday. <sighs> While pretending to help Nemeka when Nemeka ran to him for help. He talked him into agreeing to follow him to the shrine to get the money out from the shrine. Hey. He told him that the Igwe was only being a coward for refusing to do it. He said that the spirit cannot harm the Igwe or the heir to the throne of Enuani Kingdom. He pushed my brother into going to that shrine to bring out the money. He, he promised to, 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 to send us abroad with 70 million naira from the money if Nemeka agrees to bring out the money. Uh, and we all believed him. We trusted him. We trusted him so, so much. <laughs> but then he deceived us. It was all lies and deceit. <laughs> and now Nemeka is no more. <laughs> Nemeka is no more. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it deceived us. Nemeka deceived all of us. Nemeka. Oh yes, it was me. It's always been me. I'm the one who manipulated your children into constantly using that video to blackmail you. Mba, Mba, no, I didn't hear all the things that Captain Oguabu just said. Or did I? Yes, you did. Your Majesty, you did what? Uh, tell us, Igwe. That is lying Igwe. against you, your Majesty. That you did what? Tell us, Igwe, that is lying against you. It's what? 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 You, 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 not, you can't talk. It's not. Not lying. Ah, abomination! Oh, this motherfucker cannot deny it. Because he knows that I'm telling the truth. He knows that I'm telling. The truth! Igwe! You want to deny it? No, you cannot. 
<laughs> For I am your nemesis, Igwe, and today, <laughs> today is the day of reckoning. Oh, fresh memories in my head. I remember so clearly as a young man of Inuan in his 20s, I was in my natural habitat in the wild, taking pictures of birds in the sky, beautiful vegetation. And then I saw you. I saw you raping and devouring an innocent woman. Thereafter, you ordered for her to be killed. By your guards, my heart could not take it. I saw the pictures and videos of you. And I took it. Oh, I took it. I took it. I was so broken. I was so ashamed. I took it and I ran. I ran to my father. I, I told him, Daddy, <laughs> come see what I have seen. I could not wait. I was so passionate about Igwani that I wanted my people to see you for who you truly are. And so I ran to my father, who by the way, <laughs> he was happy to walk with me. He rose, I command that he was. He agreed to follow me so that we can go talk to the elders, so that we can wash your dirty linen outside. But guess what? Oh, you crafty bastard! Guess what happened? <laughs> oh, I will never forget that fateful day as we approached the open market, the village square. The entire village had gone into a big frenzy because you wicked witness had twisted the narrative and sold them a lie. A lie that they believed and still live in this moment. Was I disappointed? Yes. Was my father broken? Oh yes. And so we decided to wait. <laughs> oh yes, we waited. We waited. We waited. My father was waiting. And I was thinking. My father was waiting, I was thinking, he was waiting, I was thinking, waiting for the perfect time, and then a thought crossed my mind. Oh, my father, my father, my father had to die. Conveniently, in sleep. So, you murdered your own father. Captain, why? Oh yes, I did. Because of this idiot. Because I wanted to keep that video and use it against you when you eventually become the king of Enuari Kingdom to blackmail you into lifting the very dirty and shameful curse of Ibadanda Ufere that your ancestors had pronounced on my family. Hey! You were. You have got me into the mood today. But then again, I knew that I had to wait for the time. I had to wait for the perfect moment. And then I traveled. I traveled to go see the world. I traveled to acquire the required skills so that I can come back for a showdown. Ready for me to return. Oh, I give it to you. You are a craftiest motherfucker. Came back to this kingdom. And what did I see? Wickedness. What did I see? Shamelessness on your face. What did I see? My people crying in pain and lack under your wicked administration. I learned. I was informed of an imminent land seer. I was also informed of the fraud that you, Ono Wasakwe, here, 
and the very weak Ichi OKK had committed in the previous sale. And I started asking myself, what kind of people are these? Ah! You. And so I did the smart thing. You know what I did? I got that all that information to help my scheme. Hmm? You said fraud. What manner of fraud are you talking about? Those don't be stupid and ask me questions when the culprits are here to speak for themselves. Huh? Everything. Our friend. Wow. Ah, uh, when you put it that way, now you make me look like I am as disgusting as you are. Come on now, don't drag me down to your level. I'm not a miserable look, is your son was just a victim of a crossfire after the chief priest declared that outside the chill Kongpo or his biological son, the next person that could help us get the briefcase out of that shrine is the next king of the kingdom. I had to do what I had to do. How would I have known that your brat of a son would have died in the process? Just how would I have known? Really? I ask you, would I have known? How would I have known? I don't know. What would I have known? How would I have known? I don't know. They don't know. <laughs> so many things you all don't know. <laughs> and let's get to it. Let's get to the most important part, the part that I never mentioned to anyone. You see, everything that I have done and everything that I have become in anyone because of your throne. I have come to take the throne. You have till nightfall today to abdicate the throne and announce me as a successor. Else, I'm going to put one in your head. You never give me the chance. I will not give you that chance. Alfred, I will never. You are not. Oh, God damn it, you are going to do it. You are too small to challenge me, too dirty to judge me. Let us stop this expensive joke. Eh? Uh, the captain, we are already in a, in a, in a terrible quagmire. Eh? We are already in a mess. Uh, let us think of a way of coming out of this problem. You, you you said you were going to bring a, 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 a guru, an India from somewhere. Where is he? Oh, he's got the crap! You greedy, lazy bitch. You are nothing short of a disappointment. A guru what? Magician, my foot. There is no one. There is no such person. Asako! Stand on your feet. Stand straight and don't slouch. You are the owner of this kingdom. Your first assignment is to prepare for my coronation as your next king. Yes, good afternoon. Have fun. Talk! My friend, say what you want and let. I'm looking for Mr. Okonkwane's compound. Okonkwane. Ah. Ichi Okonkwane. Yes, sir. Who are you? I'm 
I don't want to we, we, we don't need the answers. Need the answers. We, don't we don't need the answers. Uh, walk down the road, take the first turn. You will see a compound with cashew trees in front. That's it. All right. Thank you, sir. What's making them to run? Why are they running? Yeah, you demon! Yeah. Are you a prostitute or someone who can be con? What are you talking about? Can you serve a cucumber? You know what to do with it. Move. Your father has turned you into, into a meal for the guards. That's sleeping with the guards. You come here and come and rub your father's penis. Um, you go. Um, I brought this man here so that we can sit and talk. Get up! Up, stand up straight. Don't slouch. I brought this old hags here so that we all can put heads together and talk. That's why I'm here. You see why I see you a very incompetent king. So you don't even know what is going on in your king? 
Okay. Um, I'm going to be the next king of this kingdom, by the way, so I might as well begin to, you know, do my job. So a certain young man has shown up in this kingdom claiming to be Chilkonkwa's son. Oh, yes. Born by the same woman that you raped so many years ago. Now, you go his to that. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Since you already lost a son, you're looking for a replacement eh, to add to that prostitute. No, the boy is not your son. Oh, she never talked about you. The only thing she mentioned was Ichio Kongo's name. And of course, the name of this town. So your dirty secret is intact. So the reason I have brought these old faggots here is so that we can all look at this properly and see how the appearance of this boy is going to help us. I personally think that it's an opportunity that we can tap into. Um, 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 Captain Obuago, we have told you that this young man is... Oh no! I'm still holding a gun. If you keep talking, I'm going to shoot you. But, Captain Obuago... I have not finished. What is your problem? What I'm saying is how we can make use of this young man's appearance. Okay? So this is the deal. It's very simple. Boy, in getting to get the briefcase, get me the money, get rid of him. It's that simple. What, you can't do it? What, it's not doable? Huh? I'm asking, how, is, that, is it hard? Is it hard? No, 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 Is it doable? Yes. Good afternoon, sir. What's going on? What is wrong with all of you? Why are you shaking? Listen, I don't care. Don't care. You see, all that just happened, I don't care. So you faggots better stop shivering and let's get to work, okay? All of that has not affected, as a matter of fact, it has made my ultimatum even more serious. You go, let's get to work. Uchechi is indeed Ichio Konkwa's biological son. The gods revive Olama. After chasing the guards who were strangling her away in the form of three mighty gorillas, before they successfully snuffed her life out of her completely. That was what the guards were trying to tell you, Your Majesty, that day you shot them. It was the guards, too, who wiped out her memory and took her to the orphanage where she gave birth to Uchechi and nurtured him. Why they did that and why they influenced the events that brought him back to Enoana Kingdom. Now, after all these days, you will soon know. But knowing that it is a special project of the gods. Any form of harassment or attempt on his life by any human being will be met with ferocious reprisals from the gods of our ancestors and the angry spirits of his late parents. The gods sent me back to Enon once again to warn all of you and that I have done. Took long. You took long. Eh? At a point, I I thought you you had changed your mind. For what or no what's happening? Is it obvious that Captain Obuago has chosen dead and the one to consume all of us raw? Yes, of course. Yes. Eh? Look, he's mad already. Because whoever the gods wants to destroy, they first make him go mad, mm -hmm. and that's what the ancestors say. That's exactly say. what our ancestors say. Yes. That whoever the gods want to destroy, they first make mad. Yes. Yes. Look, Nietzsche. Isn't it obvious that the gods, our ancestors, 
the blood of those we killed or supported to be killed are seeking vengeance against us, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So what, it are, is. what are we doing? What are we waiting? No, no. Where are we going? Look. Eh? So what it is we? better we go and live in exile than to die disgracefully. Let's go. In no, no, no. Kingdom. Let's go. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go. Now. What let's are we anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. I will, in this case, for the sake of clarity, my name is Captain Onye Mechi Alfred Obuago, retired U.S. Marine. Go and verify. A veteran of so many fierce battles across the world and by my experience in military intelligence Igwe, I am telling you that I do not believe in coincidence no everything that happens happens for a reason I do not believe that Ono was away Ichio Keke And the Chewbacca were killed by the gods. No. See, their corpses were arranged to form the sacred symbol of Udogolo. Their tongues and manhoods were missing. Only Udokolo kills a man and takes his tongue and his manhood. Our people know that. Our people are aware of that. Igwe. With this deep and apt description of what had happened. <laughs> and your knowledge about all of this. Your Majesty, are you sure that you're innocent? What are you talking about? Igwe. <laughs> Igwe, I know enough about hypnosis. And I also know that that young man, Uchechi, has been playing with our minds. And it is very possible that someone 
hired him to do that. You win. Are you sure? You're not behind this. Are you sure you did not pay that young man to come here with his hypnotic powers to frighten me off your back so that you can take all that money and keep it to yourself? Hmm? Do you want to deny it? I'm born on a cracker, I'm born on a cracker, you're your matter, or did you see a brew? You're your matter, or did you see a brew? Disaster looms, disaster looms. Captain Obago, there is nothing to deny because there's no truth in your delusional assumption. You people stay the beehive of the ghost. And the angry bees have come for your head. That is what is going on and nothing more. And as for your dead partners in crime, the ghosts are indeed behind their deaths. They killed them for trying to escape the kingdom before confessing their abominable crime. To the ghosts, that is a red line. Again, the God sent me to warn you. Confess before it is too late. Two of you confess or get ready for disaster. I want an acreta. I want an acreta. I want an acreta. You know, Matara, would you see a boo? You know, Matara, would you see a boo? Disaster looms. Disaster I am finished. Captain, Captain, we are finished. Oh, you are finished, Iwe, please. You are finished. I am not finished. Bullshit. Bullshit, Iwe. Bullshit. All that is Bullshit, Iwe. Now I feel the compulsion to remind you of who I am. I am Captain Onyemechi Alfred Obuago, U.S. Marine, retired, verified, Iwe. I am a veteran of so many fierce wars across the world. The Ochiaga Ochimba. One of any the kingdom, Igwe, what I mean, I say what I say I mean, and whatever I want, I get Igwe, the man that will kill me, has not been born, neither has the weapon that will take my life been invented. Not here on earth, not under the sea, not in the spiritual. Igwe, I am tired. You are weak, Igwe, and I am tired of waiting for you to work with me so that we can go to that shrine and get the money. I have decided to do it myself and my own way. How? Okay. With the knowledge of your dead son, it is clear to everyone in Inwani that if you die without an heir, whoever marries your daughter or Jumwa becomes the next king of Inwani. Am I right? What are you getting at? It is very simple. You are going to give your daughter Ujumwa to me as my second wife. I will marry her and I shall become king so that I can go to that shrine and do that which you are too weak to do. I need to go and get that back. Hmm. 
<laughs> How are you going to become king? I am still alive. I am still on the throne. Then that's the young boy, Uchechi. The one that you hired to go and get that bag out of that shrine. Or Igwe. <laughs> get him to go and do the needful Igwe. Or or you marry my daughter. Mm -hmm. Kill me. Uh -huh. Become the king. Yes. And then go and get the money. Slam dunk, Igwe. For once you have impressed me, you are a very brilliant king. What if she refuses to marry you? What if I refuse to give my consent as her father? Igwe, you are not going to play with a man that has your testicles and the femme creep of his hands. Jungwa! <laughs> Where are you going? He wants to know. Oh yes. I would like to know. Where are you going? Well, if you must know. I am going to the village square to tell the people everything I know about your involvement in the murder of Ichi Okonku. His wife? My brother? and the involvement of my father and the late council chiefs. Um, you won't dare. Oh, really? Yeah. Watch me. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> you move one more time. Next step you take, we'll send you to hell. Captain Obuago, you've underestimated me for so long. Do you want to shoot me? Go ahead and shoot me. Shoot me, because the only thing that will stop me from carrying out my threat is if I die right now. Else, I am going down there to tell the people everything I know. And when I'm done, I will go straight to the police station and sing like a bird to them. Watch me, you devil. All right. You've been tough talking a lot of nonsense, but you're right about something. I am the devil. And I run the show. And the show is called the Game of Thrones. In the Game of Thrones, you win, you leave. You lose, you die. And in this game, you and your father already lost. But the only reason both of you are still alive is because I have need for you. You are going to get into that car. I'll have you locked up in one of the rooms in my house until you agree to become my legally married wife. You've obviously lost it. 
It's obvious. Yes. 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 Come on, stop it! That's a lady! Yes. 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 Stop it! He's got a gun and he's running. What's going on? Why is someone that has a gun? Dad, she will not please. believe what just happened. Come in, please. Yes. You will. Captain Obama. Hey! Sarah, you know, wait. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. No, 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 no. No. It's not me. Oh. Not me. Again? Again, my princess. Again? I don't know. I don't know. Anytime they see me, they will be running. I don't know what's going on. Look, just relax, okay? I will go in there and ask my dad why. Him and the members of the council run away each time they see you. Well, you have nothing to worry about, okay? Oh. Just relax. I have to go. Don't go anywhere. You, you're here on my invitation. Please, calm down. I, I'll go find out what the problem is. My princess, my princess, please. please. If you have any regard for me, you will allow me to go now. My princess, please. The last thing I want in my life now is having any kind of conflict with the king of the kingdom. I have to go. Please. Please. No, I can't stay because I can't stay. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Dad! Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! I burned you! I cast you! Dad! I burned you! What is I it? You. I burned you! What? What is it? What are you binding and casting? Where is he? Where is that man? Who are you referring to? Where is that wizard you returned with? Oh. Uchechi, he has gone. Are you sure? Are you sure? Dad, what is this embarrassing behavior you and the members of the Royal Council are putting up each time you see this young man? What is it? Listen, Uchechi, is that what he forced you to bring him to the palace to find out? What does he have on you? What is he holding on you? Nothing. Father, that young man saved my life. He saved me from Captain Obuago. That demon practically adopted me, pushed me to his car. He, he was about driving me to his house, locked me up until I am legally married to him. It was after that strange rescue by you, Chechi, that I insisted he follow me to the palace so you personally thank him yourself. Listen, princess. I do not want you anywhere near that man. Ever again. Least of all bringing him to the palace. Do you hear me? Uchechi is the only man Captain Obuago is afraid of. I know what I saw. Now I'm thinking we should work hand in hand with him to pull down Captain Obuago. You know, I was going to expose you and Captain Obuago to the people and to the police. But after the incident, I had a change of mind. So you think about it. Think. Well, stay away from that young man. That's my own. And that's an order.
Your Majesty, the princess is not in her room. Not in her room? Where could she be, Ivy? Leave us. Go back and check. Your Highness. I'm here. Because I am not happy. Why? Oh yes, I'm not happy. What has happened? We had an agreement, anyway. But as we speak, I don't know what is going on. We'll get to that. On my way here, I saw your daughter, Ujumwa, going to Chio Keke's house. She saw me. She did not as much as acknowledge my presence. Igwe. Igwe. What is going on? Are you sure of what you just said now? Igwe Ochiago Ochimba is not a man easily giving to idle talks. You shouldn't have resorted to forcefully abducting and threatening her, Captain Owago. She is still a princess and you are also a respected leader in the kingdom. Marriage between you and my daughter will happen even though I don't like the idea and its implications. I have no choice. You will. Those were your words to me. Those are your promises to me. Did I add anything? You, you did not. Good. Igwe, it is 11 a.m. Instead of you and your daughter being in my house, given the agreement that we had, I have the one in your palace. In your house, talking to you. That was not the plan. That was not the agreement. I have come to tell you that if in the next four days you do not begin to make plans to get me married to your daughter, I'll be very happy to ensure that the police and everyone in Inuani gets a copy of what's in that envelope. To come after me. Uchi, I promise you, my father will not come after you. Uchi, please, let me. Please, okay? Let go of my hand, please! Uchi, leave me alone! I'm on my knees, okay? Please, I assure you. I don't need assurances of anything from you. Please, you have to go. You're not welcome here. Please, don't send me away, please. Listen, 
I understand everything. You understand nothing, my princess. You understand nothing. Put yourself in my shoes for once. I have lived my life to this age without knowing the name of my father or the place of his birth just because my mother lost her memory before I was born. My mother had a fatal fall in the bathroom and the only thing she could tell me immediately after she came out of coma with her memory fully restored was the name of my father and his village. I came here to reunite with a father I have longed all my life to meet only to hear that, that he is dead in the suspicious manner he did. As if that wasn't enough. The people of Inuani, even my relatives, avoid me. They avoid me. Your father, the chief, whenever they see me, they run away screaming like little children. Put yourself in my shoes. If you were me, would you allow someone like yourself close to you? Come on. Please, allow me. Go. Leave me alone. Come on, please allow me to be. Do you want your father to kill me? No, okay. Listen, my father will not kill you, okay? He won't, he won't even come after you. Please. Let me be. Let me be. I have enough troubles of my own already. Spare me the extra trouble of clashing with two great individuals in your dad and Captain Obuago. Yes, on the advice of the elders of my family, I will stay far away from them. I cannot do that. If you don't let me, I cannot! Okay, listen, I swear to you that I'll protect you. I'll protect you with my life if need be. My princess, I don't need your protection. I don't, I just need you to stay away. Please, go! Hey. Can you stop? Wait, you, you, what? You what? What? What is it? Take out! Take out! Take out! Take out! Take out! Take out! Uchechi, son of a Kungpo, go back to your father's house. I don't know who you are, but I beg you, in the name of whatever you hold there, make way for me to pass. Please. I say, go back home, Uchechi. Home feels like no home anymore. My father is gone. I have nobody to call my family. Yet strange occurrences keep pinching me against very powerful people in ways that are dangerous to my safety. I cannot remain here. I have to go, please. No one can harm you, Bajaji. You have had more than enough company. You have never been alone. The spirit of your late parents, the ghost of the land, and your destiny have always kept you company. What you're talking about. If all those you mentioned were with me a while ago in the compound and allowed what happened to happen, then the company offers me no protection or safety. The guards are sure to tell the Igwe of what happened, and that will more than convince him that the rumors making rounds that I am a wizard is true. He will come after me, he will mobilize the people against me. I cannot be anywhere near Nwane when that happens. I have to run for my life. Before they will kill me. Uchechi, listening and listening good. They who have preserved you from the worm will keep you safe in anyone. For that is your own land. They who slapped the royal gas out of your compound today will go to war and prevail for your sake if need be. Who are they? They are the same people that have been keeping you company. You are their special project. Until that for which you were brought into this world fully manifest. They shall never allow any harm to come upon you. Uchechi, go back home and wait for the ultimate call of your destiny. It will soon come. And when it comes, you must answer it, son of Okungwa. Go! Go! Go back! Oh. 
I'm sorry if my presence unnerved you. I didn't mean to. Have you heard about the new developments as concern you and I? What are you talking about? Never mind. You will hear once the representative of your own part of the kingdom returns from the palace. I left before them to come see you on an entirely different issue. I'm at my princess, please, I'm, I'm, I'm Listen, not... Listen, I swear, I never knew who the lady in the video digs inside this envelope was until I left here yesterday. I'm not... I'm not proud of every other thing that has happened, but it did happen. And so, I want to be the first to let you know about it. What are you talking about? This video? I, uh, my princess, honestly, you're not making any sense to me. Oh, what, are, what are you trying to tell me? Take. I should take what? The document inside this envelope will clarify you. Have it. You can also have my laptop if you don't have any means to watch them. Okay? I don't understand what you're doing. Why are you keeping a laptop for me? See you later. See me later? Who are you leaving your personal computer for? You're leaving your laptop here and you're going and you're telling me see me later. What's going on? He will hear from me. See you later. If you do not come out here at the count of three, I'll begin to shoot people. Come here. You think that you can play fast one on me? You think, Igwe, that you can pull a fast one on me? You and I had an agreement, Igwe. We had an agreement that you were going to present your bitch of a daughter on a platter to me. But you decided to play first one. Where is your daughter? She's not here. You don't know where she is? She's not here. She's not in the palace. And I do not know where she is. You don't know where she is? Even if she was here, I would uh, not tell you. Igwe, why do you want to die? I would not tell uh. you. <laughs> For your information, what my daughter did, and what my daughter said at the royal naming ceremony, she did not discuss with me, I did not know. But even if she did tell me, I would have supported her. I would have approved of it. Anyone does not need another devil after I am gone. Not a black devil housed in a fair body like you. You have always said that the weapon that will kill you is not in this palace and is not also in the spirit world that I tell you. They who will kill you are born. Captain, they are born and they are in this palace. I realize that those who will kill you, those who will destroy you, are my daughter, the princess. Uteji, the son 
of Ichi Okonkwo. I will stop you. I am happy that we stop you from ascending the throne of Enwani. You have failed. Yes, you have failed. Yes, you have failed woefully, shameless one. I have not failed. You have failed. Your time is up. Dad! 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 to our family through you. When the girls took your mother and you away for safety, they also sent very mischievous Abu spirits to torment Princess Ujuma and Prince Indemeka later in their lives. The Abu spirits were responsible for all the things they did recently. They were possessed by something beyond them. This was necessary. The reason was to prepare the grounds for you to return and mount the throne of our fathers as destined. The Abu spirits have since left Princess Sujuwa after the death of Prince Indemeka. Forgive her, my son. She is destined to be your wife. She is to be your queen. The people's queen. Therefore, take her in. She is your wife. Congratulations, my son. May your reign be long and fruitful. My best wishes to you, son. Your father and I are watching over you and your family every step of the way. Mama. We will. Mama!
in the name of our gods. Echengi, Ikwe, Uchechi, Okonkwo, Oyituburazu, the 17th of Enane Kingdom. Ikwe! Now, the staff of office. So, you will always speak the truth and also stand on the side of the truth. With this staff, you will not witch hunt anybody. You will not do any evil against anybody. Our gods will always protect you. Our gods will always be with you. May your reign be long. Igwe, Igwe, Igwe. Oye tu buraz, oye tu buraz, oye tu buraz. Yeah, de. You think I did? Me ya leg, me ya rebi long. Oye tu buraz, oye tu buraz, oye tu buraz. Eke nengi yo. Yeah.